friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for your love for your support i really appreciate much but if it's your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends today's video actually guys it was supposed to be just a short video clip of a Zambian lady who found love online and then went to visit the boyfriend in his country and he did a surprise proposal. So I had wanted to share with you only that. And my first idea was just, you know, to share it on Instagram. Then I had to think about it. I was like, but not everyone follows me on Instagram. Maybe I should just post it both on Instagram and YouTube. Then again, <laughs> I had to think and I was like, no, but if I share this short video clip of her proposal, what are my subscribers going to gain from it? Because you all know that guys, every video that I share on my YouTube channel is to educate you, is to make sure that after you watch that video, at the end, you go with something, you know, <laughs> something that will help you in your search. Yeah. So that is always my intention to share with you these videos, not just to share with you. Oh, look, she got engaged. <laughs> then what? Cause you're out there searching for love. You really pray and pray that it should happen to you too. So instead of just watching a short video clip of an engagement, I was like, okay, I am going to share, yes, a bit of her story because she says wants to share her love story when she gets married and moves to her husband's country, <laughs> which is the Netherlands. I said, it's okay. So I'll share just a bit for you to get to understand and also get to share the name of the dating app where they met on. So there on the name of the dating app, they met on, I came to find out that it doesn't work in all countries. So I was like, my subscribers, my babies needs to have options if that dating app or that dating site does not work in their country. So what are other dating apps that they can give a try? So that is going to be our today's video. And without wasting much of your time, let us jump into it. So guys, like I have said, today's video is about a Zambian lady, a single mother of one who found love on online dating apps after six years of searching. Tells us was single for nine years. So you who is watching this video, you are single, you have been on online dating apps for so long, but things are not working. And right now, you are at the point whereby you don't feel like even keeping on searching for love. You just want to give up. A story like this tells you, no, do not give up. I was on online dating apps for six years. It wasn't easy. I faced lots of challenges, same, same challenges that you are facing. And look at me, I was a single mother. So it was even more challenging. So please keep on searching. Don't give up yet. Yes, I have seen some comments here on the comment section, people saying not everyone will find love on online dating apps. And one time I told you guys that it might be true, okay? But we are not God. I can tell that you who is watching this video, you will never find love on online dating apps, but in real life. That is why I've been advising you to 
to put yourselves out there. Yes, you are on online dating apps, but yeah, put yourself out there. If you see a guy, he matches everything that you are searching for in a man and it is in real life. Don't ignore him and be like, no, I want to find love online. <laughs> you can find love in real life. But I also told you, if you are searching for a white guy <laughs> and I know some people advise you go to the beach, go to the, I don't know, hotels, you know, to look for white guys. I told you those white guys that you meet in Africa, especially if you're an African, <laughs> you have to be very, very careful. Some of these white guys have been there for so long, they know how things work, how bad black men behaves. So you find a white guy who has been there just decides to be a bad guy, you know, <laughs> like our fellow bad African men. Because I told you not all black African men are bad. So you have to be careful. Some are there on contracts. They have good families here in Europe or in America. Yes, you need to put yourself out there, but with your eyes wide open. <laughs> yeah. But again, I insist, do not give up on love. You deserve to find happiness. You deserve to find that guy that will treat you good, <laughs> like a princess or like a queen. And it is very, very possible. I told you, I will not sit here and give you false hopes. I will not sit here and just encourage you whereby I know it will not work out. <laughs> yeah. So yes, guys, as she was on online dating apps, searching, then one time came across my YouTube channel, started watching my videos, and there's some videos I posted in the past about dating apps to try out. Also, I've been sharing online dating success stories. So she watched all those videos and then started trying out the dating apps that I recommended. So after trying out, this does not work, this does not work, this does not work, then in one of the dating apps, found a Dutch guy. They started communicating and in a very short period of time, guys, in one month, this guy was ready to go to Zambia, meet her in person. Couldn't believe it, guys. And what she did came on my Instagram, wrote to me, was like, Bella, I need your help. <laughs> I'm chatting with this guy, one, two, three, four, please guide me. And when she told me she wants my guidance, of course, I told her, if you want my personal guidance, you need to pay the fee. Asked how much, I told her, and yeah, she was okay, paid the fee. So guys, yes, I had to listen to her story, and after listening to her story, I asked her some questions, you know, to see... How is this Dutch guy that she is telling me about? <laughs> yeah. So after that, I gave her also some tips on what to do. Because you know what, guys? When you are on online dating apps or you have been on online dating apps and then you come across a guy, all boxes tick, 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 tick. When you try to compare him with the guys that you have been chatting to in the past, this guy is different. When you see that, that's a sign that he is the one. But sometimes, due to maybe our past love relationship experience, how we have been hurt, or due to what we have faced on online dating apps, sometimes we need guidance, someone to tell us if what we see is the way it is, or maybe something is hiding under. And that's why this lady came for guidance. Some of you don't have enough experience when it comes to dating. So you come across a good guy and then you start chatting. Maybe due to the way you are chatting, maybe due to the way you are responding, maybe due to how you handle situations. Because I told you, one time I did a video and this video, oh my God, brought so much hatred. <laughs> People were attacking me. <laughs> this video was about why white guys marry black women. 
oh why would a white guy go for a black woman and i told you guys one of the things that these white guys that are serious really are searching for a wife what they observe in a woman is here how you reason how you handle situations how you handle challenges so you are there a challenge comes and you handle it badly not the way the guy expected you to handle it you lose that guy and that's when i tell you guys when you find the one and you need guidance you need to know how to keep him but again i talked to this you don't keep a guy that we have not yet known if he is the one so the first thing we do is to see if he is the one then if he is the one we work on how to keep him <laughs> yes. so yes guys i kept on guiding this zambian lady and yeah everything kept on going good because she could update me on everything then it came the week that he was traveling go meet her if you remember i did a video what to do if he is coming to meet you so i also gave her some tips on that and yeah the day came she told me oh my god was so scared was so happy excited <laughs> had lots of mixed emotions at the same time went to the airport beat him and yes sent me the photos after meeting him something else that happened same same period has a sister that also found love on online dating apps and that sister is a single mother you guys that follow me on instagram you have seen that story but the full love story also will be coming soon because her sister as i'm talking right now <laughs> she is married already she got married December last year 2023 so at that time when my baby's boyfriend arrived her sister's boyfriend too was in Zambia oh my god it was such a wonderful moment for them and for the whole family so in his stay all went good you guys that are expecting to hear the goodies <laughs> Yes, of course, they enjoyed the goodies and in his stay, they had talked about the bride price, so he had to pay the bride price. Imagine guys, just the first time this guy being in Zambia, he paid the bride price. That is when you notice a serious guy, a guy that has got concrete plans for your future so let us also learn from this not a guy coming to visit you and he's very busy you know looking for places to visit tourists places but about your relationship about learning your culture traditions he is not interested at all when you see that <laughs> you know what to do girl protect your goodies <laughs> And if it is possible, leave him in the hotel, go back home. <laughs> Cause this guy is just treating you as his escort or someone to accompany him in his tour. <laughs> yeah, and you're not a tourist guide, you're not an escort, okay? Yeah, so just for your own respect, please, please leave that guy. <laughs> So yes guys his visit came to an end but before leaving told her that now this time it's you who will come to visit me in the netherlands so that i can introduce you to my family so that you can see my real life and i told you a guy can come in africa but you have just seen this guy you haven't seen his real life when you go to visit him in his country, that is when you get to see his real life. And if you plan to live in his country, this works on your favor because that's the life that you are going to be living forever. It's good to go and see if you like it there or not. If you imagine yourself living that life. So really, this guy is a serious guy and the relationship that will work out will not remain stagnant a guy will keep on taking steps forward in your relationship will take your relationship to the next level not remaining 
here a guy came to visit last time i posted something on instagram i was like a guy comes to visit you he doesn't talk of inviting you when you ask him about the future of your relationship a guy is like mm, i don't know we will see <laughs> Oh my God, that means that relationship will remain stagnant. Just like that, nothing promising. As a lady, I wouldn't advise any woman to stay in such kind of a relationship. A relationship that is not promising you the future. So yes, guys, after him returning to the Netherlands, they kept on communicating. Everything was going really good. But guys, you know, long distance relationships are not easy. So challenges are there. And <laughs> in a full love story of this lady, I will be telling you those challenges. But for now, yes, there are some challenges. But when you love each other so much, you can overcome any challenge. <laughs> If it's not a critical situation, because I told you, if you are in a long distance relationship, yes, they are difficult, but it doesn't mean that you guys have to fight every single day. You're fighting, you're fighting, you're fighting. <laughs> that means when you live together, it's going to be worse. Yeah, so some little challenges could happen, but they were solvable. So the relationship continued and they started planning of her visiting him in his country and yes she told me about it i was so happy prayed for her applied for the visa and she's so lucky guys got the visa to go to the netherlands traveled and when she was traveling oh my god i remembered i wished her safe trip was like bella i am boarding so kept on updating me and when she arrived she told me i have arrived so few days of her being in the netherlands he proposed oh my god his family members were around they went to see nature and as they were there talking this guy popped the question i am going to be showing you a short video clip of that proposal so that we can enjoy it together but as you watch you'll see that i covered their faces you will get to see her face once she gets married <laughs> yeah that's what she requested bella for now let's just encourage other women out there to keep searching i was on the dating apps for six years but eventually god wiped my tears he brought a very good man that i was praying for and more so congratulations girl and guys enjoy this short video clip of their proposal Not a good kind of. Not a good kind of.
Hallo, Hallo. Hier blijven. Voorzichtig. Ik ga niet doen. that short video clip of the proposal you can see how they love each other oh my god <laughs> when love is real <laughs> so after that proposal the next day they went to buy the real engagement ring i'm going to be showing you another short video clip of her engagement ring it's so beautiful Turn it a bit. No, on the other side. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Pretty great. Hmm? Yeah, it looks very good on you, baby. So, guys, as I'm making this video, she is still in the Netherlands enjoying <laughs> with her fiancé. And when her visa expires, she will go back to Zambia. Then the fiancé will be the one to go back to Zambia again. They get married. After getting married, of course, <laughs> go together to the Netherlands to live there happily ever after. So, but I promise to keep updating you on this love story. So let's move quickly to the big question. The name of the dating app where they met. They met on a dating site called F Dating. And if you follow me here on YouTube, I have shared a video on how to use F Dating. If you did not watch that video, go watch it and then join F Dating. You will find it on Google, not on Play Store, because it is a dating site. I know that some countries cannot access F Dating, or some of you have been having problems in using F Dating, maybe due to their technical problems so you have not been lucky to access f dating that is why i am going to be sharing with you the names of the dating apps that you can give a try if you can't access f dating but if you can access f dating that's good and you can add these other dating apps that i am about to share with you so my number one dating app that i am recommending to you all to try it out <laughs> this dating app i didn't know about it i just discovered it recently there is a lady who found love on that dating app and for me most of the dating apps that i really trust is when i hear a success story because we all know those dating apps that are there to take advantage of you just because you're searching steal your money make you chat with robots or make you chat with people that have got intentions of making you pay as you chat so that is why for me it's important I hear a success story, then I bring a dating app here to share it with you so that you too can give it a try because if the lady tried it out and it worked, why not you? So try Boo Dating App. I'm going to be putting the picture here so that you can see how it is written. It's a dating app. You will find it on Play Store. More on how to use Boo Dating App. I'm going to be sharing it very, very soon because I'll be sharing the success story of the lady who found love on Boo, accompanied by a video on how to use Boo Dating App or how to navigate through and the whole story on how she found love on Boo Dating App. So that is my number one. Number two dating site for you to give a try because this is a dating site. It's called Choice of Love. So this one, you are going to find it on Google, not on Play Store. Choice of Love. Again, I'll put the photo here. Dating site number three. This is a dating site 
two and this one is for plus size women you ladies that have been following me bella you know i'm a plus size white guys likes only slim ladies which is not true i told you it's not true i know lots 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 of ladies who are plus size and happily married to white guys <laughs> guys your size is not a problem if you think maybe you are so insecure of how you look then work on yourself but not because you are doing that to get a white guy cause they want slim ladies not at all all. just work on your insecurities be confident and search for love <laughs> that way you will be able to love that guy and be happy without lots of insecurities because you worked on it before yeah but don't come to me and start telling me white guys like only slim ladies no it's not like that so this dating site for plus size is called who plus who plus i'll put it here too so that you can see it i know exist some countries that it's not available because i've been trying to recommend it to my babies the ladies that i work with but they come and tell me it's not available so if it is not available don't worry and be like oh this was my only hope no you can still find love in any dating app just like the way you look not because you have to be slim to join Afro introductions. You have to be slim to be on F dating. You have to be slim <laughs> to be on OkCupid okay because those are the dating apps or dating sites where you find white guys and white guys are into slim ladies. I'm talking of this because I've been getting lots, lots of messages. Even after making a video to talk about this, I still get these messages. So let me hope from today, you will not come again with this question cause it has been answered. So dating site number four is Christian Cafe. This is for Christians, devoted Christians. But the downside of Christian Cafe is that they have got one week free trial. But after that one week free trial, for you to be able to access that dating site, you need to pay. But my advice here, because you guys, you know, I'm about paying for dating apps, <laughs> your sites. So what you're going to do, if you have never heard about Christian Cafe, it is your first time, you never joined it, join it then use that one week free trial effectively by reaching out to guys by sending likes you know being active for that one week praying you will find luck within that one week because the lady i told you found love on christian cafe she found love within five days <laughs> on her one week free trial so after that one week if you don't succeed don't come back and start attacking me be like bella what kind of a dating site you shared with us i can't even access it after one week <laughs> and take all the frustrations on me that is why i'm telling you this downside but why not give it a try there is another lady too is my own baby <laughs> <laughs> fall in love on christian cafe after me sharing it on instagram tried on her free trial within three days she found the one the guy has booked for his ticket already to go meet her right now they are just waiting for his visa to be approved so you see it's a serious dating site number five dating site to try is higher bond this higher bond is a christian dating site it's a site guys and when i say it's a site you have to go and search it on google not on play store because i remember there is a lady i was telling her the sites to try and she was telling me it doesn't work in my country it doesn't work in my country <laughs> later i asked her 
are you searching these sites on google was like no on play store so it's not on play store guys it is on google search it on google higher bond to you christian ladies that have been approaching me on instagram here on youtube bella share christian dating sites here it is so give a try higher bond who knows <laughs> we might get a success story from this video bella i watched a video of a zambian lady you shared dating apps and sites to try then you mentioned higher bond i gave it a try and i found the one <laughs> Because this is how it has been happening. Dating app number six, because this is an app, it is called Lovely. But this one, I'm going to recommend it to ladies that live maybe in Europe, in America, Australia, Canada. Give it a try. If it is available in your country, why am I saying it's for you? Because on Lovely, you can meet locals, guys that are so close to you, you ladies that are searching for white guys specifically. Let's take an example. You are in the UK, London, and you join Lovely. That means they're going to be bringing guys who are in London. Let me hope you have understood. So the app, again, I repeat, it's called Lovely, Lovely. <laughs> Dating site number seven that you can give a try. This is completely free, just like F dating. It's called Friends Match Me. Friends Match Me, completely free, 100% free so just give it a try and we keep praying god brings a right guy on friends match me i'm going to put it here so that you can see it so guys the last one on the list goes to asian lovers <laughs> all ladies that are interested in asian men yes i know sometimes you guys approach me on instagram at african bella please remember to follow me there if you haven't and you'll be telling me bella i am attracted to asian men oh my god when i see them they drive me crazy so please share with me asian dating sites here it is asian dating i'm going to be putting it here so that you can see how it looks like <laughs> and who knows next time we might be sharing a love story of a chinese guy and a ugandan lady of a chinese guy and <laughs> a tanzanian lady yeah <laughs> and with all that said we have reached to an end of our today's video yes let me hope you enjoyed so so much you have learned a lot please please if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super super good comment below what you think about this video i would like to know don't forget to subscribe <laughs> it's free guys to subscribe free free of charge <laughs> for me it makes a difference really it's free to you but for me it means a lot so subscribe let us keep on growing this channel thank you so much guys until next time i love you so much you're always here in my heart ciao ciao Mwah.